Years ago, I taught a figure drawing class at a local university. Here's an easel with a pad like the one the students drew on. And here's a student in front of the easel. One day, I walked into an empty classroom and saw a group of easels set up in a circle. And here's a bird's eye view of that room. As I walked around the circle, looking at each drawing, an image began to emerge of what had been in the center of that circle, a beautiful young woman. But I also saw more. I could tell what the students had been eating while they worked. I could see what kind of mood the teacher was in by the notes he made on the pads. I could tell that the students were coming back to this room by all the personal items they left behind. As I continued my walk around the room, looking at each easel, it became more and more obvious who the model was and the entire interaction and mood of the classroom. It all appeared because of multiple viewpoints. Each drawing gave me a view into the entire situation. With one viewpoint I saw this view, with another viewpoint I saw that view, and so on all the way around. Every circumstance in life, no matter what it is, is multifaceted and can be looked at in many different ways. Growing up on a ranch, I was warned many, many times about rattlesnakes. One day I was going for a walk and I saw a rattlesnake. It scared me to death. I was looking at it from this angle, but later I looked at it from that angle and realized it was just a bunch of sticks and trash. I never forgot the lesson that a new perspective made me see things in an entirely different way. Here's another story. One day, one of my children wanted something, but I couldn't figure out what it was. He was insistent, but too young to communicate well. He was adamant about what he wanted, but I just couldn't understand him. Then later, when I was on the floor, I saw what he had wanted. One of the kids had parked some gum under the table. From his view, he wanted the gum. But from my view, I just couldn't see it. Let's look at another scenario. We'll call this the present, and something happens here. But when you get into the future, the present turns into the past. When you look back from the future to the past, all of a sudden you have a new understanding. We call this hindsight. You have one view in the present, a second looking back from the future, and a third which encompasses all three. It's the same thing here. One, two, three. Each viewpoint compounds on the next. Be careful about holding a single point of view. It fossilizes perception. When we see something from several angles, our awareness expands, and what was once hidden can come into view. Actually, all innovation and adapting to change depends on seeing multiple points of view, which shifts perception. I'm Kurt Hanks. And this is a rapid visual.